Fans have been missing Rihanna lately as she didn't attend this year's Grammy Awards and because her much anticipated album R9 still hasn't been released. While everyone waits for her new music, Riri has been busy building her Fenty brand empire and even buying up some new Los Angeles real estate. Just the other week, reports show the singer purchased a $13.8 million mansion in Beverly Hills and this is far from her only property in the area. Rihanna also owns a Hollywood Hills estate she rents out, a luxury penthouse in Century City that's been her main residence, and a condo in the Wilshire Corridor. In this video, we'll check out a few of Riri's properties including her brand new one. In these videos, we don't don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Robin Rihanna Fenty is a singer, actress and businesswoman who was born in St. Michael and raised in Bridgetown, Barbados before being discovered by record producer Evan Rogers. He invited her to the US to record some demo tapes and was signed to Def Jam in 2005. It wasn't long before Rihanna became a star considering her first two albums were already big hits. Over the years, Riri continued to make music, resulting in more chart-topping albums and even multiple Grammy Awards. With over 250 million records worldwide and successful collaborations with the likes of Drake, Eminem and more, Rihanna is considered one of the best-selling music artists of all time. Aside from her music career, she's well known for being an entrepreneur and her involvement in the fashion industry and humanitarian causes. While Riri's upcoming album R9 has been years in the works and hasn't been released yet, the singer has been super busy. At this point, her cosmetic line Fenty Beauty has exploded with sales and her Savage and Fenty lingerie brand is allegedly valued at a massive $1 billion. As of 2019, Rihanna is considered the wealthiest female musician, amassing a net worth of about $600 million. Hey guys, it's Karen. and I'm bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell, we post a new video daily. While we've reported on Rihanna's homes in the past, that was a long time ago, and since she just treated herself to a brand new Beverly Hills mansion, it seemed time for an update. On this channel, we talk about celebrity houses, but if you want to know about their fashion, even Rihanna's million dollar jewelry, head on over to our other channel, Famous Fashion, where myself and some other hosts are reporting on all things celebrity fashion and expensive items. And in addition to showing off her expecting tummy with the belted waist, it also ties her to her home on the west coast. Let me explain. As always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat. And now, let's get into this video. Back in 2017, Rihanna purchased a Mediterranean-style abode in Hollywood Hills for $6.8 million, but just a year later, she listed this stunning property for sale at over a million dollars more. In 2018, an intruder disabled the security system at the home and broke in, and while Riri wasn't home at the time, the trespasser was able to hang out inside, charge his phone, and spend the night. Safe to say it was enough to spook the singer into moving out of the premises. While she had no luck selling it, in 2019, Rihanna decided to rent out the luxury property instead for 35k per month, which has been the case since. Set behind gates and hidden behind trees, a 7,130 square foot property is spread across a three floor main house and a separate guest house above a detached garage. Inside, the interiors of the home are relaxed but super sophisticated and offer touches of glitzy glamour throughout. There are six beds, eight baths, and five star finishes, as well as a roomy entryway with Art Deco inspired staircase when you first walk in. The formal living and dining rooms are both large, the dining area fitted with fireplace and the living room with LED backlit wood beams. The high-end cook's kitchen here has dark cabinets and gray countertops that waterfall over the massive island. This room opens to the cozy family room, and other nearby highlights include a games room, a fitness suite, and professional movie theater with tiered seating. The main home offers four ensuite bedrooms for guests and a celebrity-worthy master suite that used to host Riri once upon a time. Here, there's a bedroom with a fireplace, ensuite bath, sitting room, and steel trim doors that lead out to a private wraparound balcony. Outside, between the main house and guest house, there's a courtyard style space with dining and lounging terrace next to an infinity edge spa and swimming pool. In recent news, Rihanna just bought a new mansion for $13.8 million located on a posh cul-de-sac in the mountains above Beverly Hills. Her new neighbors will include legends like Paul McCartney and just a few doors down, there's a lavish estate that Mariah Carey called home for years and recently was rented out to Madonna during the pandemic. Rihanna's home is on a steep slope overlooking Coldwater Canyon and inside 
It spans 7,628 square feet of space with six beds and seven baths. While it was built back in the 1930s, the longtime owner sold the dated home to entrepreneur Daniel Starr in 2016, which was featured on Million Dollar Listing. Starr spent millions to tear down and completely rebuild the entire house, and Rihanna's estate is as good as new. Hidden behind gates and tall hedges, curved stairs lead you to the house where the modern exterior now features white paint with a black metal roof and trim. Interiors resemble a modern farmhouse design with French white oak hardwood flooring and an open plan layout. There's a glass front door which opens to the entryway where there's a giant black bull sculptor and this area overlooks the center of the home, an open air courtyard with terrace, pool, spa and fire pit. Most of the lower levels in the home surround the courtyard which is accessible through walls of glass sliders. One of the living areas has white walls and a floor to ceiling black marble fireplace and another, also with fireplace, is fitted with shades of grey from the walls to the bookcases and even the wet bar. Riri's new kitchen has plenty of space to cook up a meal or entertain since it's bright and airy and features gold hardware, two white marble islands and access to another slim terrace. Not to mention, a cozy breakfast nook here was made glamorous with black leather seating. Her master suite has tropical vacation vibes and looks like it's straight out of a resort, also including a custom closet with black cabinets. The spa style ensuite bath opens to an outdoor lounge area as well. Also on the upper level of Riri's new home, you'll find a home gym with full wall of windows overlooking the central courtyard. This singer's half acre property is on a slope overlooking the canyon like I mentioned, but the courtyard was a creative way to get the most out of the space. Because of its position on the hill, the entire property is surrounded by tall walls, adding extra security, ideal for a celebrity, especially Rihanna. I'm gonna guess that this was the selling point for her, you know, after that intruder incident. Since 2014, Riri has also owned a gorgeous penthouse in the Century, a 42 story condominium skyscraper in, you guessed it, Century City, Los Angeles. This area is on the west side to the south of Santa Monica Boulevard, about 10 miles from downtown LA. Residents of the Robert A.M. Stern Design Tower have often spotted the high profile singer coming and going from the building, and according to several sources, Rihanna has been using this stunning penthouse as her primary residence. She sought after this property for safety purposes after the break-in incident since there are private elevators and what's described as three layers of anti-paparazzi security. Aside from those features, the century is also famed for its 24-hour valet and 75-foot luxury pool with private cabanas. Riri's unit is said to boast three beds, four baths, and cost her $5.45 million, which isn't surprising considering celebrities like Matthew Perry and Paula Abdul have also called this building home. It certainly is top of the line. The century boasts 140 units and other reasons for a high price tag to live here include amenities like a movie theater, spa, wine storage, fitness center, four acres of landscape gardens, and more. Only a year later, Rihanna even invested 925 k for another 2,000 square foot condo in a nearby building along the Wilshire Corridor. And while other details for this unit aren't available, it sounds like she rents this one out. So now we've checked out Rihanna's property like her brand new Beverly Hills mansion, her Hollywood estate she rents out, and what we know about the Century City condo she's called her main residence for a while now. Aside from these and her other investment condos, let's not forget the singer owns a lavish property in her homeland of Barbados too. A far cry from her modest childhood home here, the opulent villa she purchased for $22 million is located in the One Sandy Lane Resort. Rihanna's estate is one of eight in the luxury complex and serves as an A-list holiday home perfect for the star to relax and spend quality time with her family. Features include a spiral staircase, swimming pool, state-of-the-art gym, and access to the five-star beach. Not to mention, there's staff to care for the property at all times and even help like a 24-hour concierge and private chef on hand. Anyways, after looking at Rihanna's homes, what did you guys think? Did you have a favorite? Feel free to rate her properties in the comments below. Mine has got to be her new Beverly Hills estate. The courtyard is super cool and I love the layout of the mansion. Be sure to subscribe to my personal channel if you want to get to know me better. I love reading your comments over there and getting to chat. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!